Hey guys, Jim Grant here for Ammo Land TV, and today we're taking a closer look at the newest red dot from Vortex Optics, the Defender CCW. The new Defender CCW is designed explicitly for concealed carry use uh, for guns like this P365 Macro, but it also can serve double duty on a carbine or pistol or a shotgun of pretty much any type. And that's what really separates the Defender from the rest of the market. So in a nutshell, the new Vortex is pretty much all about versatility. So in the box, it comes initially with a Picatinny rail adapter, which is awesome because you can use it on a shotgun or a carbine or even a large format pistol like an MP5 or whatever. Uh, but it also includes several different sets of screws and various thread pitches, so you can mount on a bunch of different popular optic setups. Now, the footprint used by the Vortex Defender is a Delta Point Pro, which also means it's a Shield SMSC or SMS rather, so you can mount on a lot of popular guns. So, in particular, if you're a big fan of the 365 or 365 XL, it comes ready to mount on these guns. Uh, it also works on a wide variety of other guns, and if you don't necessarily have that footprint on your handgun, you can get an adapter plate. And pretty much the bulk of my experience has been having it mounted on either this, the full-size macro, or on my personal 365. And although this new Vortex is new for Vortex, there's a lot of micro red dots on the market today. So how does it really stand out? Well, like I said before, it's all about versatility. But that's great, but how does it actually work and how does it actually run? It is available in either a 3 or 6 MOA dock configuration. It uses a shield footprint or a Delta Point Pro footprint. Runs on a singular 7075 battery and has a 9500 hour battery life. The optic is adjustable for both windage and elevation, where one click is one MOA, and it has a max windage adjustment of 105 MOA and a max elevation adjustment of 110 MOA. It's currently only available in a red configuration, so the dot's red, and it measures 1.59 inches in length and weighs at 0.95 ounces. And my experience thus far with the Defender CCW has been stellar. The majority of the shooting I've done has been on this, my P365 XL Macro, but I also had it mounted on my standard 365, as well as an IWI Galil Ace Gen 2 5.56 and a Benelli M2 shotgun. And in all these cases, it ran very, very well. Now, in, in an attempt to actually figure out just how precise it is, I put it on one of my more accurate handguns, my P322, which I can normally bullseye shotgun shells at about 25 yards using a uh, Shield RMSC. I was able to basically recreate this, though it was a little bit more difficult considering I used a 6 MOA dot. Normally it's a 3. Some other noteworthy features are the front of it has these serrations for letting you to rack your firearm by using the red dot, and the fact that it is just very easy to use. The buttons are inset enough that you're not going to hit them on accident. The brightness up, brightness down. And one of the more impressive features that really is probably overlooked by a lot of people is the inclusion of a special tool that does everything you need on this Vortex Optic. It's actually incredibly, incredibly handy. I know it's kind of a weird thing to harp on, but uh, that little tool has the correct indentation to adjust the windage and elevation, as well as install and remove the battery and install and remove any sets of screws of the six sets of screws that are included in mounting this optic on anything you want. So is it worth it? Well, it has an MSRP of $350, and thus far it's built like a tank. It reminds me of the micro enclosed Hollow Suns, but it feels a little bit more durable and the controls feel a little bit nicer. Uh, it's more or less comparable, and thus far, I think it would be an excellent, excellent fit for a concealed carry handgun like a P365. Thanks, guys. For Ammo Land TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys on the flip side.